Hey, friend, let's do a little Christmas cut crease or whatever. Yeah, you see it. Let me get you a little closer. Mm-hmm. The look is looking. The blend is blending. And you see I did a rounded... Oh, yeah, period. Ooh, period. Because this time I did a rounded edge instead of a straight edge like I normally do. But anyways, this is my first time doing a voiceover, so forgive me if the voiceover ain't... <laughs> yeah, just... Move on. I'm using some concealer. What concealer? I don't know. Wait, no, I do know. It's from e.l.f. It's their Pharaoh's Camo Concealer. Yeah, 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 that's what it is. We'll, we'll go with that. But yeah, make sure you blend it out. Make sure it's even. You wonder why your eyeshadow don't come out right. It needs to be blended out. Anyways, friend, because I'm doing a rounded look, I'm going to take this. No, 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 no. My fault. <laughs> I'm going to take this and blend this, um, my face powder under my brow and like the front of my brow to help with blending. This just helps to soften the edges some because I know some of y'all don't know how to blend that well. And baby, do this little tip. It's, I'm telling you, it's a game changer. Just take your little powder foundation, lightly, lightly put it under your brow, in front of your brow, at the end of your brow, just like I'm doing. And it'll help with blending, I promise you. Now I'm going in with this dark green from City Color Cosmetics in the, what's the color, what's the color, what's the color, what's the color? Abstract palette, yeah. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to make a rounded edge. We're rounding it out. Round it out, baby. Okay. But you see what I'm doing, right? I'm packing on the color. Am I blending? No, I'm not. I'm packing on the color. That's how you stop your eyeshadows from being patchy. Pack it on first. Get the shape that you want. And then you go in and blend. Y'all, some of y'all just go straight into blending. No, ma'am. Uh-uh. We pack on then blend. Now I'm taking the red from the same palette. Okay, we see it, girl. Okay, you keep pointing to it. We see it, girl. Put it down. Put it on your face. And I'm going to take the red and put it in the front to run it. Not somebody sending me an email while I'm trying to do this voice of any. Ooh, so rude. Anyways, um, so you see what I'm doing? I'm packing it. But I'm also going to pack it on top of the green to help the blend. But am I blending yet? No, I'm not. I'm packing it on. So pack it on. Build up the color. Build up the shape that you want. And then I'm going to show you in the next clip. It's going to be. It's going to be real easy. You're going to hold it. Let me show you how to hold it. You're going to hold it at the end. Don't hold it at the front. Don't do that. Hold it at the end, the end baby. The reason why you hold it at the end is because you're not putting too much pressure on your brush. Because sometimes if you put too much pressure while blending, it'll mess up your blend. It'll get patchy and scratchy and you'll end up moving the eyeshadow around too much. Oh, let me zoom in so you show. So I know it. So you know it's real. So I know it's real. No, so you know it's real. But anyways, just gently take your time. Don't rush. Because when you rush and you put too much pressure on these eyeshadows, they're not going to blend. Okay, it's going to come out patchy and it's going to leave that weird, I don't know what you call it, like, like a ring? I don't know. I don't know, but just 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 watch what I'm doing. Okay, just blend, baby. Just keep blending. And we're going to keep blending. Take a little bit from the palette, a little bit more eyeshadow, and just go around the very edge. The very, very edge. And then to help with the blending even more, I take my, well... Ain't barely anything in there, but I take my powder foundation, you zoom in so you know it's real, and take some more of my my face powder and go in and blend out the ooh, child. <sighs> girl trying to do this voiceover ain't for me. I don't know if I could do this again. Anyways, but yeah, I'm just going with a big fluffy brush and go around the edges to help blend out the eyeshadow so we're not getting a harsh line. Real real thin. I think that's a what brush is that? I think that's a wet and wild brush. From a dollar store. I think so. And that powder foundation is from Maybelline. It's called Toffee Caramel. Ugh, fine. Moving on. That's the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm putting that on my lid for where my cut crease is. Um, I've showed y'all how to cut a crease. It's, it's real simple. Just take your time with some concealer and just do what you got to do, baby. Um, this is really good for shimmer. I don't really use this particular primer for matte eyeshadows. I don't know. I just prefer something different. I prefer like a, a concealer. Um, but for shimmers, this, um, primer is perfect for shimmers. So if you're looking for something, for some shimmers, baby, go ahead and get your little, uh, oop, not me burping, I love the primer potion from Urban Decay. So this is the, um, paint palette from Glamline. Anybody remember this palette? I remember this palette was everywhere. It was so coveted. It sold out over and over and over again. Finally got my hands on it and baby, I absolutely love it. Nobody uses it anymore. Like, well, I don't see people using their old palettes anymore. But let me tell you, around here, we using our palettes from, like, 2017. I don't care. I bought it. It's paid for. It's mine. I'm going to use it. But, yeah, look at the gold. You see what I was telling you? That Urban Decay Primer Potion. 
she's that girl. Look at look at the gold. But I mean, I mean, Lamelight makes really good um, metallic eyeshadows, so it really didn't need too much help. But that that primer potion does what needs to be done. So you just take your time and wiggle it on top of the green to blend it. And then I'm going to use that white gold. I think it's white gold. Yeah, it has like a white to gold shift. And put that right in the front. And blend that thing all out. It's going to get a little sparkle sparkle in the inner corner. Because I'm an inner corner sparkle kind of girl. If you don't want to do that, just put like a matte white eyeshadow. Or just take the gold eyeshadow all the way to the front. And there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Real cute. And yes, friend, <laughs> we're done. Let me zoom you in so you know it's real. Look at the glitter. I didn't film that part because it's kind of hard to film that part. Added some rhinestones because, I mean, duh, it's me. I got to add some rhinestones. Yes, the face is giving. Don't worry. I think I have a whole set. Did I film my face part? I don't know if I did. But, yeah, let me show you um a close-up with the uh, no flash, no lights on. Wait, no lights on? I mean, no flashback. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if these voiceovers is for me. But anyways, friend, I hope you enjoyed the look.